Uh, hello. First episode of the, the new year. I actually f filmed another episode, but it didn't go well because I didn't plan it out at all. These are the old notes, not very well written at all. But um, here's the new page. So this is what we're going to be talking about. Uh, it's 2024. It's the first day of the year. And I said in my last thing that uh, 365 episodes, but it's going to be 366 actually because um, it's a leap year. So, um, yeah, so and they always say leap years are good. Like 2024 was, a, 2020 was a leap year. 2016 was a leap year. 2012, those were all like cool, fun years. And I was born on a leap year. So maybe, maybe this will be a dope year. Um, I started watching Normal People, the show, because everyone recommended that. And I don't get the hype at all right now. I low-key, Marianne and Connell, I think are, they have no chemistry in my eyes. I'm only two episodes in, but... They, it feels like if you took the two most boring people in high school and made a TV show about them, I'm really not a fan right now, but I, it might get better. But what really caught my eye was True Detective I'm watching right now, season one, and it's a detective show, but it has like this underlying, like dark philosophical sort of through line going through it. Um, and there's some quotes that st stuck out to me that I wanted to share, which I wrote down. Um, the first quote was, human consciousness is a tragic misstep in evolution. We've become too self-aware. Nature created an aspect of nature separate from itself. We are creatures that should not exist by natural law. We are things that labor under the illusion of having a self. This accretion of sensory experience and feelings programmed with total assurance that we are each somebody. And then later in the show, he also says, uh, in eternity, when there is no time, nothing can grow, nothing can become, nothing changes. So death created time to grow the things that it would kill. And I thought that was just a, an interesting dark perspective that I don't know if I fully agree with, but it's, it is interesting. The self-awareness was the thing that I really latched onto. I do think that when you look back in time, humans were never this self-aware. Like we're all thinking things that no one's ever thought of before. Like the way that we're on the internet from such young, like generation alpha is already getting so confusing because they're experiencing things that they should never have even perceived by the time that they turn to 80 and they're already perceiving it on their iPads when they're like three. So it's just, we're too self-aware because everything's ironic. Everything has to be layered with some sort of meaning and message and movies have to have humor in them now. You don't see, even the, even the most serious movie always has a joke now, um, which I'm, I'm not opposed to. I mean, humor is in everything, but I think self-awareness is kind of ruining that. Another thing is salt burn. Um, I feel like salt burn like, everyone's seeing that movie. I think that was like, is that like their first weird movie they've ever seen? That's kind of my thought process right now because everyone's walking out of it and like, oh my God, it's salt burn, it's so crazy. And I mean, it's like, it's the, the shots are nice, but it's really just like so shallow in my opinion. And it's just like weird for the sake of being weird. And I don't know, I feel like art is moving into this area where we're looking for virality more than content and like depth because with Saltburn, I feel like the social media has been like what's gotten that movie so popular and gotten some of the most atrocious takes on TikTok I've ever seen on a film. And it's just all stemming from the fact that everyone likes to be shocked now. They like to have something to talk about that's like, oh my God, did you see the bathtub scene? Did you see the grave scene? Like, yeah, but like, why did we like i don't know it was a boring movie I, I don't, I mean, that's so basically those are my thoughts that's what i've the thoughts i've had by the end of the day for day one of 2024 we'll see what tomorrow brings um, it's kind of cold outside so we're gonna end this one now but yeah dope